Shout out to all the viewers at home. I believe there's over 100,000 people viewing at home. And uh, you saw right there the Broken Tear shirt, Broken Tear Monsters celebrating all the stream monsters at home, enjoying this evolution tournament here. All in the family. One of our Americans is going home. And there's that stand forward so strong. The low roundhouse does have some risks. This crouching fierce also has some risks. But that bobbing up and down and mixing it in with other moves makes it extremely difficult to predict. Yeah, that standing forward kick is one extra active frame. Zangief standing strong, a little bit easier to hit, makes this fight, the balance of the fight, shifted a little bit in Rufus's now, direction. I want to note, I don't know if Snake Eyes has hit actually any buttons this entire <laughs> game. We're about 40 seconds into the match. He hasn't yep. hit a button. And you know what? That's the problem with a lot of people who try to start playing Street Fighter. The first thing they do is hit buttons. And it's really about when to hit buttons that makes Street Fighter what it is. That is the unsexiest description possible of this game. <laughs> I know you want to hit the button, don't you, kid? Well, no dice. You don't get to hit the button. <laughs> this game is about not hitting buttons, as you can see by these best players in the world. Anyway, we've uh, seen a few oh, buttons. He's finding, pushing him, wants to track him down. Ricky, very strong, not backdashing, challenging him to go for those grabs. And you see Snake Eyes, that whole time he was down alive, not worried about it. One combo, and he got him up to about even in life. He's still down just a tiny bit, but wow. now he's up. How is he doing this? How does he have the life lead? He's been immaculately blocking. Watch out for EX Messiah kick. Rufus has built an entire super bar a while ago now, just by making him block moves. Wow, nice counter hit. 10 seconds left. I don't even know what to say about this. Like a new oh, thing. Beautiful four throw, but you know what? What's he's still down alive. Oh, it gets the trade. Baits out. The X just he's goes okay for it. Yeah. Oh, he used the meter. Interesting. I'm not sure about that choice, but just wanted to be safe. Maybe a little bit of muscle memory coming in. Yeah. And Snake Eyes does know he's on the brink of elimination in this match. And Ricky looking similarly active. Snake Eyes, his counter basically, okay, all my moves are bad. I will do nothing. <laughs> that is amazing. Like, I don't know. I mean, on paper, that seems to make a lot of sense. And every time he hit it so far, it's been one of the right buttons. He yes. has been so efficient with the beautiful Ooh. choice for Ricky. Going low. Oh, Get away with one. Yeah, Zangie with a slow forward dash. Not going to be able to focus dash forward, punish a lot of moves in the game. That is one of them, that low fierce. But Ricky's so good at throwing it out in very odd timing. Very hard to predict properly. Yeah, and Zangief even then has a hard time focus punishing that. There's uh, so many extra frames on that forward dash. And you could guess, you could focus back dash a bunch of times, but then all you're doing is losing ground. Yeah, you're pushing and yourself backwards. And ultra meter is not usually the difference maker in this match for Zangief. Oh, he's in. Oh, he just went for it. Okay, I think he needed to represent that because Ricky had been sitting there and not back dashing for a while. I think Snake Eyes is actually happier when his opponent does mash on back dash. Much more common and theoretically better escape plan. Right, and if you build up their confidence in their option, it becomes easier to predict. He's going in. Not enough meter there for a red focus Ooh. into Ultra. A little bit of work to do, but he's doing it. He has Snake a life eyes. lead now. Has he cracked the anti zangy Rufus? Oh. oh, beautiful stop from Ricky. Now Ricky with the life lead. And showing such great control. Oh, now he's Oh, he oh. finds a little roundhouse. Baits out the... Oh, he Keeps gets the same bully timer scam. No, just keeps him locked down with the jab. Oh, oh the jab out. back fierce from Snake Eyes. Gonna take it from Ricky Ortiz. If you remember, Ricky, part of the Team NorCal at Southern California um, Regionals when, when Snake Eyes did the reverse OCV and took out all five NorCal players in a row, he took out Ricky in one of the most crazy comeback fashions. NorCal went up, yeah, that was an incredible, incredible set, but Snake Eyes all over it, and Ricky looking a little rattled now. Uh, Ricky not a player who gets very easily rattled, but Snake Eyes may be one of the only people who could do it. Could Snake Eyes have actually been in the lab just since Friday, here actually at Evo <laughs> Evolution, like actually boning up on his game while here, because this is just an incredible change, incredible change. Searching, he's got a significant life lead, doing very little. Okay, Ricky creates opportunity and finds it. Wow, that is so risky against Zangief, but he recognizes he's down in life, needs to make it happen. Well, Zangief has nothing that throws this throw invincible right away except for EX SPD. 
So it is kind of safe to get in there, even if you get a regular SPD. Still about two or three frames of startup that can be thrown. Yeah, that's true. You can get some setups, but as you can see in general, Rufus wants to play very Ooh. far away from Ziggy. Now Snake Eyes gives himself the lead again. Oh, and again, does not oh, take the bait from Ricky. Is. And he's going to take the, that round as well. It's round one of game two to Snake Eyes. And Ricky now, forcing, you can see Ricky not looking scared, but just like a little puzzled. Like, hmm. You know, if we had the ability to track these kind of stats, I would say Ricky has probably hit four times as many buttons as Snake Eyes. And yet, Snake Eyes is up one game to zero, one round to zero right now. And also his reads on the EX Messiah kick, that flipping kick you'll see Rufus do, he has blocked every one of those. That's one of the most invulnerable, sort of high priority moves in the game. A great attack. Ricky usually very good with landing those and being able to guess correctly against his opponent. Snake Eyes has read him right every time so far. Snake Eyes is, letting the, is allowing Ricky to establish a rhythm, a pattern of his attacks. That's how he is getting those little tiny hits in the EX Queen hand. Oh, and, Ricky showing some new tech of his own. And in a weird way, he's okay with blocking low fears because Ricky was full on meter. So Ricky's not gaining any meter, but Snake Eyes is. Oh, here we go, more EX Queen hands. And that was, I hope we get a chance to talk about that. That was such a cool exchange, but I want to stay focused on what's actually happening right now. That stand strong technology into the EX Tornado that we saw is a neat punish. The stand forward kick you see there cannot be comboed. The stand strong can be comboed. And it will create a vacuum effect that pulls Zangief towards him. But Snake Eyes has made the adjustment after getting hit by it exactly once to stand at a perfect range where the Oh, he got him! But I, he, he's running he, out of time. So he wanted to go for Ultra. He can't use it anymore. Not enough time on the clock. Oh, he uses all of his meter. He went for it. But a great low block from Ricky Ortiz. What a read. Ricky Ortiz is going to come into the last round with a full bar. Snake Eyes only up one game, so Ricky can even it up with this round. Snake Eyes finds first blood, now out of meter, not able to pursue. And that's the thing, Snake Eyes was trying to bait that standing strong into EX Tornado by standing at a crazy range just at the edge of it, where even though he would get sucked in by the Tornado Blast, it would not actually hit him, and he could punish Ricky, which he actually pulled off. I thought was completely amazing on the fly adjustment, showing you all the things that are going on in Snake Eyes' mind. For as much as he's just sitting there blocking. Like, yep. He's playing an incredible game. Great sweep from Ricky. Oh, oh again, very right few in. options for Zangief on wake up to counter throws like that. Looking, looking. Wow, another surprise jump in, which is used sparingly. And that light green hand is safe on hit now. It is minus two. Very few characters can actually truly punish that on hit. Zangief is in a deficit, but... And he knows he can just sit there and force Ricky to come to him, which Ricky just definitely doesn't want to do. But without this round, he's going to go 2-0 with a character that should be dominating Zangief. Well, especially the way we saw Ricky play it against Itabashi yesterday. Yeah, if, if, if I mean, you need on Friday. A, a test case, there can be no clearer one. Oh, oh but he missed it. He didn't he believe. Combo. He didn't believe it was going to hit. He was going for another mix-up. Oh. And the Lariat punishes both options, the low and the high. And I love his face. Such complete composure. Like, yes, I have dominated this uh, <laughs> unwinnable matchup. But Thank same you. thing right there, Ricky. You can see his game face as well. Snake Eyes going up 2-0 to zero versus Ricky. And a great start for him. Oh, my. Combo video style stuff. And he's going to get out of that corner and bully Ricky a little more. Yeah. He's looking for it. Oh, no. Oh! oh! This is the Snake Eyes special. He's in your head. Now you're dizzy. The focus attack into the... Oh, Jordan Fildar. That's going to close wanna, it out. I want to talk about that SPD for a second. You see him take a far step. He walked far, way farther than he needed to be. But that's because he knows people tend to do reversals right after you finish touching a button or try to jump away. So he wanted to see if he jumped first. And when he doesn't, you're pretty confident that they're going to stay on the ground. So by doing a slightly delayed SPD, he prevents himself from getting punished by the backwards jump. A great bit of extra information and RG Snake Eyes after round one with a perfect is on match point again of sending Ricky out of the tournament. I believe in fifth place. Oh, or that character that should just lose. Yeah, it according, could be. According to the current meta, this should not be possible. But he's on the verge of a 3-0 and opened up this game with a perfect. 
this. Like we said, I mean, normally I would think this fight's about even now, but the problem is we saw how badly Ricky beat up on Itabashi Zangief, who is one of the premier Zangiefs in the world, and Snake Eyes has been turning this match completely on its head from that previous fight that we saw. The secret is a magic nothing. He did, <laughs> he did nothing at Ricky. Oh, yeah, he was crouching, so EX Red Focus. Focus oh! A wake-up jab, and he has sent Ricky Ortiz home. Both the EG members have been taken out, one after the other. Snake Eyes moving on. I believe he is going to have to go up against 